Ever wondered what would happen if Indian Stream had stayed an independent nation? Buckle up, because today I'm diving into an alternative history that spans from the 18th century to today. Indian Stream started as a tiny, defiant territory. In the 18th century, they'd faced the monumental task of surviving amidst powerful neighbours like the United States and Canada. Being small, yet strategic, they'd likely adopt a policy of strict neutrality to avoid being engulfed by more powerful nations. Through the 19th century, Indian Stream would need strong leadership to navigate through the American Civil War and Canadian Confederation. Imagine a small but resilient democracy akin to Switzerland, maintaining its independence through shrewd diplomacy. By the 20th century, things get even more interesting. Faced with world wars and the Cold War, Indian Stream would have to walk a tightrope. It's plausible they'd maintain their neutrality, benefiting from being a buffer state. However, economic pressures might push them to form alliances, possibly leaning towards Western democracies. Now, could Indian Stream stay a democracy? Given the global trend towards democracy in the late 20th century, it's likely. However, facing economic and political pressures, there's always a risk of slipping into dictatorship. But let's stay optimistic. In the 21st century, Indian Stream might emerge as a thriving micronation. Leveraging technology and a well-educated population, they could excel in niche markets. Picture a nation proud of its unique heritage, balancing tradition with modernity. So, could Indian Stream have survived and thrived? Absolutely. Stay tuned for part two, where I'll explore their cultural evolution and international standing today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more alternative history adventures.